that's a pretty neat car. She's real fun. She's real neat. It's a real nice car. It's real neat. Well, right about here is where you'll see why. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's why we're switching to Holly E5 because I don't know how the f works carburetor. <laughs> one of those things that I don't even know what to ask about. So it's like, I don't know, where, where do you even begin? Uh, this is a 1934 Ford three window coupe. Three window coupe means that it has three windows other than the windshield. So Technically it's got four windows. Windshield, not right. window. But yeah, so like <laughs> the five windows would have another quarter window right here and it's a little bit longer cap. So a family member of mine who, uh, you know, just was a person that I kind of looked up to my whole life was uh, him and a very good friend built the vehicle it was one of his good friend's vehicles, his first car in high school. So like everything I can find puts it about like 1962, 1963. It was his first car, you know, they were Southern California, San Diego, uh, the quintessential hot rod like place to be at that time. Yeah. Um, and that's what they were into. So this car, they kind of just went through all the phases of what it was to do hot rodding back then. So like um, the top was chopped. Um, once again, from what I can tell, it's like probably like three and a half in the front, three in the rear, which means it was brought down. The body as you see it right now is identical for the most part to what it was back then. Okay. Um, I actually have like, there's a photo album somewhere of them, of, of this car back in that era. So like this paint, uh, I mean like, uh, by it looks like it went through a couple revisions of paint. Well, so I think this was probably like primer paint, something like that. Um, the story was, and like there's photos of them painting it. Uh, they use like a brush, a roller, a sprayer, and wow. supposedly the sprayer was the backside of a vacuum cleaner because they didn't have an air compressor. Okay. So it was like lightly sprayed on and rolled on. So like this, that is the paint that's on there. And like the red that you see underneath is the original body color of the car wow. um, back then, which obviously like it's painting and fading and like kind of falling yeah. apart on that sense. But I'm just gonna kind of leave it because there's, a, you know, it, it, it's a story behind it. So the body as you see it is identical to then. The interior right. for the most part's the same. There's been a few small changes. So car 60, 62, first car high school, they drove it around a bunch. Between that era and like the mid 90s, I don't really know the history of the car. I, I unfortunately didn't get that. I mean, the family member has now since passed away. Yeah. Um, he had a huge collection of cars and between uh, myself, and a couple other friends and family members kind of sold off a lot of the collection because they're just, you know, rather all go used, whereas like his family wasn't as interested in it. But somewhere in like the late 90s, early 2000s, from what I can figure out, it was put on like a more modern chassis. So it's on like a more pro street chassis. So it's got like four link coilovers, four nine oh, okay. inch in the rear, small block Chevy, TH350. So like fairly modern running gear, which ironically, I didn't know anything about any of that until I bought the car and got it home because like I'd never, I'd seen it like this. This is all yeah. I'd ever seen. And there's That's gonna like, be fun to kind of tear into it and just- 100%, all that. I literally like, we, we got it in the trailer. So I drove, I mean, this was what I drove a couple weeks ago. I drove out to California and back by myself and like, yeah. and yeah, we literally pushed it in the trailer. We didn't even try to start it because like none of us knew. I, I didn't want to even attempt no. it. Um, right had never even, had never popped the hood, had never, like I literally just like, I had only seen the car. Uh, and like, I think I maybe have seen it four or five times total in my lifetime before purchasing it. I first saw the car when I was like about 10 years old. And like, I've been absolutely obsessed with it since then. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's been kind of like, crazy that you own it now. Oh, it, it's like absolutely surreal. And it's one of those things where like, you know, for my age group and kind of where I'm at and like, these have been kind of like, semi unattainable cars for us because the value is yeah. so high on them. Um, yeah, I genuinely it, don't know anyone else. Yeah, that owns it's, it's one of those things like where like, I've always wanted to do this. I've always been into these like cars, uh, you know, since obviously a very young age, but just the, the barrier to entry on cost is just, it's just there. And yeah. like it's uh, in the import performance world, I can get 
so much done for what it costs to even start something like this. And it's what, are, just, what do these normally cost? I guess I've never even actually looked. Uh, I mean, like, what would be the cheapest someone could really get a You could get a chassis? body for like 10 to 15,000. I don't even want to put a number on it because like I can't. No. Because like I know whatever this probably would have sold for, you know, fair market value. I couldn't have afforded it. Like yeah. it's just a guarantee. Um, right. So like I'm absolutely lucky to have been able to, you know, work out the deal I did with the family. Am I going to go get a loan for that? Like right. my bank's going <laughs> to laugh at me and like, it's just not going to work out. So yeah, it's your kind standard of a, auto loan probably doesn't yeah, fit into exactly. these parameters. Um, even going through like insurance stuff was kind of like, who the f do I call? Like, but yeah, we push in the trailer. I drove, you know, 2000 miles back and got it in my garage. And first thing I did was like put it up in the air and just yeah. look over it. Like I had no idea if it ran. I had no idea if it like drove, if it yeah. did run. So the car has been sitting for you know a few years at minimum with no idea how much longer before that is it figuring. like learning cars all over again oh, kind of getting it's, into this yeah it's, it's like exciting. i have the knowledge the general knowledge of yeah. stuff but like there's like nothing on this like i can't google like yeah light from 1934 <laughs> the taillights are from a different car and they're right. like modified to fit like the headlights same thing are like not original like engine not original suspension not original mirrors not original like it's starting all over again like i literally like the one of the taillights didn't work switch the bulbs nope okay all right bulb doesn't work so like it's got like newer wiring in it so like sure. it's updated in that sense it's got like a painless like hot rod harness so check the wires okay there's power there power there finally pull everything apart and i realized that like it's a super old like the taillights are from a 38 ford so yeah. i found pulled it apart <laughs> found that like inside of the housing was pulled apart i'm just like <laughs> like tail lights that look like teardrops from Fords in the 30s is like yeah. what I Googled. Yeah. And I couldn't find it anywhere. So I fixed it. And right after I fixed it, I had like set up a save search on eBay. Another one popped. So I just bought it. Cause I'm yeah. like, Fuck, now I'm going to be a hoarder. Right. Because like, I'm just going to buy anything that I think I might need because I Who found knows one. if you'll be able to find yeah, it I again. I found one. Like that's just, when I first got the car and I started to go like through it, I'm like opening the door and I'm like, what the? Like, is it locked? Like, <laughs> no, they use this. It's just like literally like this normal ass f***ing like. Like a bathroom yeah, door like lock. Yeah, bathroom door lock. Okay, <laughs> now it opens. Yeah, so these door panels were They're done cool. back in the 60s. The seat used to match okay. at some point. So someday I'm going to make the seat match. Somebody but somebody to upholster that? Yeah. Is that an e-brake down no. on the floor? Uh, yeah, so that's just like a parking brake. Oh, that's cool. Um, Yeah, so like modern front brakes, like modern rear drums um yeah like the doors that's factory that's what they look like stock so cool. um can you uh is it do you call this popping the hood can you sure. pop the hood yeah so like once again same thing it How took you, me a second to like figure it out i've been looking at this like what do you do you push that down you push that down and you lift it up. Oh, it's got oh, a little notch. that is not how I would have expected that to open. Everyone we talked to told me that it was gonna be, a, it was a small block Ford. Like this is all Mustang running gear or something like all Ford stuff. Pop the hood and it's distributors in the back. Like unless they install the motor backwards, yeah. that's not what it's gonna be. So it's a small block Chevy. Um, once again, had no idea what it was. So called these dudes and was like, hey, I have a motor <laughs> that has your valve covers on it. Like what can you tell me can you tell me anything about it so we start so actually now they have a tag that they affix the motor so they're like hey uh go read the serial number off so i you know go out and look and they're like so like yeah. i'm going through trying to figure out what it was um so i called smetting uh talked to them luckily like they're a huge like well-known performance shop for hot rods so they were able to kind of like narrow it down to what we think it is so like a 383 small block chevy so it's just kind of learning every little thing about it has just been kind of uh yeah i mean it's just a giant puzzle so figured out spark plugs, figured out like even what exhaust manifolds it is. Cause like, it's so specific about that steering shaft to like, yeah. to know what each and every little piece is. The only plans I have for the car right now are to drive it. Yeah. Um, so I, I live like half hour, 45 minutes from here. So this is the furthest trip it's now made. Like I've yeah. been kind of keeping it closer. I drove it from, I drove it like 15 minutes away down the freeway and kind of just like, yeah, yeah, drivers. exactly. Like it's just like a project car. Like where like you first get driving, you start going a little bit farther away, a little bit farther right. away. Um, so kind of just doing that and it's, I, my plan is to update a little bit of uh, front suspension stuff, kind of you have friends of the shop slash friends of mine work over at Viking Performance okay. um, and going to get it down there to kind of look at some front suspension stuff. Been talking with Holly about switching over to one of their like sniper EFI systems because okay. I don't really have carburetors. I mean yeah. like that's the simplest fact is it like it needs some work because it's been sitting for so long and I can either invest the money in learning how to fix that 
or paying someone to do that work or I can just spend the money on getting one of the sniper EFI systems that like plugs right into a 4150 carb bolt pattern. Uh, you know, I can do a little bit of stuff on the computer and it's gonna start to run modern fuel injection, hot starts, cold starts, yeah. part, part throttle drivability and stuff like that. It's just gonna be so much simpler. My long-term goal, uh, next summer I wanna drive this out to Bonneville. So that's a, you know, 1500 mile drive. Everything I do is kind of with that in mind and just kind of like make it more, Cause like he, I mean, I guarantee that he got in his car and he cruised it to breakfast. He ate breakfast and he drove home. Like yeah. this car wasn't something he drove a whole lot. Um, but as far as like looks and styling and all that, it's going to stay exactly how it is. There we go. There we go. What'd you buy now? How many, uh... Old man head nods do you give when you drive this thing around? Oh, a decent amount. A decent amount of old man head nods. She'll do that. She's kind of her thing. Right, you guys so there you have it that's the breakdown on Dalen's new hot rod if you guys want to see us follow this build and stay up to date on everything that Dalen's going to do to it let us know down in the comments below if you guys want to stick around for more content just like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you haven't already make sure to give us a big old thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it we'll see you in the next video right Dalen yes I'll be in the next video we'll all be in the next video yeah. peace